All over the state, high school students are staying late to prepare robots for an international competition. Trenton Central High School has fielded teams for the so-called first robotics event since 2000. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. In first robotics, the playing field and rules of the game change every year. Teams factor these constraints and scoring options into their design decisions as well as their strategy. This year, tournament matches will start with a 15-second hybrid mode, allowing for a combination of pre-programmed action and remote coaching from the sidelines before the main sets of player controls are activated. There's two different ways we could have done this. Um, we could have raced around the track or we could actually either herd or bulldoze track balls. We saw that in the hybrid mode in the first 15 seconds that if you raced around the track and you got around it, um, I believe it's like one time that's like eight points right there. And it's an easy eight points whereas if you bulldoze a track ball you have to like build that whole mechanism for it. Teams are encouraged to seek outside help, and Bristol Myers Squibb provides both mentors and financial support to the Trenton team. But the students themselves bear the main burden from the time the rules are published and the component kits are delivered. That's the starting flag for a six-week period during which we have to design the robot, build it, test it, refine our strategy, and be able to ship it. The robot has to be shipped by next week, Tuesday, at 5 o'clock. And if we miss that by even a minute, our team is disqualified. So there's a constant sense of pressure. Despite the pressure, there seems to be a constant sense of excitement as well in learning by doing and in working as a team. I'm going to college. I'm either going to major in mechanical engineering or electrical engineering. So it's actually a really good experience. We basically learned how to wire and go through the process of all this. Uh, it looks complicated, but it gets easier. My interest as a career is made mainly in the field of chemistry, like chemical engineering. So. But I like doing robotics as a hobby. It's painstaking, but it's fun. When you see the program run on your robot, you get very happy because you spent hours and hours of debugging, and now it finally works. Teams will meet for a regional tournament just two weeks from now. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Trenton.